Queen Sweetie here. Please like and subscribe. Hey everyone, so patch notes. We, um, Oktoberfest is coming to an end. So you got that. Uh, there's a new event that's coming as well as Merlin. Now I'm I don't know yet if you can get Merlin through this quest. I will do a video on the actual um, Merlin quest later on. I know there's a new dungeon, uh, but with this, uh, you get some new mercenary skins, new costume sets. Like I said, there's a new dungeon, Fallen Realm of Transcendent Legends, and then Oktoberfest ends, and if my eyes are telling me the truth, we have an AO Week event, the 30th through the 7th of the week, uh, 7 day login rewards, and November monthly exploration, so yep, there's that. Then I think it's Halloween and Manica Day. So you get the normal every Lanica Day bent buffs. Um, I still haven't figured out the jackpot hourly raffle. And this is me just making sure, yeah, that it's a week. So, yeah. AT day sale. Okay. Atlas or enhancement discount. 20%. Um. AO day jackpot. And what that reward is. Given at random to participants of every league after achieving at least one victory. Oh. So this is with free league and coliseum battles. And then you got the giveaway. Yeah, that's that. And then the item day small sale. Dimension Overlord of Exia card. Does that give you the Exion mount? Possibly. Could answer that question in the comments. That'd be great. I oh, didn't see the Joker box on here, but like the Hippolyte Glorious package, Dark King Arthur package. Those are all good for me. So there's that. And you can see your daily check in here. I want to look at this translucent. Title with this in them. Yeah, I just got my daily thing, so I did that. And I move to the NPC area as well as there's Halloween Spectre. He has a lot to offer. You got the pumpkin bomb, 500 gives you an invitation. You got the masquerade attire, the mystic graveyard key, which is for a quest. Uh, the bracelets that I've heard so much about, as well as earrings and necklaces. Um, it's interesting. I don't know if they did it before because I wasn't around for the last Halloween event, but you can use Atlas or to buy them. Sorry for that loud noise for some of them. And they're just a little better. You can see the difference. You have the actual 
Halloween pumpkin ring. Uh, the Halloween pumpkin bomb lucky box as well as the pumpkin puzzle piece which you actually get one of these as a for completing quests and it brings up a puzzle and it randomly selects things uh, some mounts You got decorations as well as closing. There are some titles which I'll be showing you next. A cat saying hi. One gives you 50% attack and the other one gives you 50% experience. And Doppel could use more of them so I will, that's one of my priorities. That's all that, and then there is an NPC. Then and with the NPC, what I found is to look is to do number four first, because that actually gives you another key, all just by going in. And once you have four done. If you, you complete one and six, which are the mobs inside, that gives you both a pumpkin ticket. And that'll give you three of them. Uh, what was the other one? So then I was working on the pumpkin bomb one, because that gives you another two tickets. So then you can complete five. And once you have five done, then um, I think it would be three. And I think I needed a thousand charms, which is what drops in there, to get that. And then that gives you the ability to go into boss. And um, I got to kill it twice. Because once you complete the quest, it actually gives you another key to go in there. And the first one gave me an another invitation. And then the next time, um, I got a bracelet. So yeah, that was that. This is me trying to figure out how you get your first invitation. And the answer for that is you stay logged in for an hour. And then you get it. And then you can go in. Which I did then finally go in. Um, so, the Fallen Realm of Translucent Legend, it's where I guess it's a quest to help Merlin. I'm trying to look it up actually in game. So, and I'm sorry if I got that wrong, That's how to say it. Fallen Realm of Transcendent. Um, Transcendent? Can't read the whole thing. It's level 160 and they recommend you be 165. The key is the name as well. This is a key to enter the individual dungeon Fallen... Okay, so it's an indie. Okay, I wonder how much this even goes for. I think I read it's 2,500 battle points to get it one point T. So yeah. Let's see. Let's go to the bazaar and see if I even have points. So yeah. There you go. It looks like you got 28 kills. Talking to Merlin. It's a battle. I have 1200, so I can't do it yet. But yep, it's 2500. You can find it, I think, in Northern Europe.
which makes sense because that's where Arthur and them are. Yep. It's near the actual Avalon one. Alright, so I think this was me trying to find out something. But I didn't quite get the answer, so now I'm just making sure I got all my information for you guys. I think this is me trying to figure out if once you're logged in for an hour, get the key to go in. I was just wondering. Somebody tells me a nation that you go in. So anyway, yep, new event. Alright, so got into the new event. Just by entering in with that um, one quest, you complete it, you get another key. It's level 80, so you can find it under subquests and repeat, which I just showed you. Um, so yeah, I just completed, I think, number 4. Now I'm going to do either 6 or 1. I do one, because those are the flying. There are flying in here, and you'll see that I realized this, and I actually changed my formation then. And you get two tickets. Which is for another quest. So yep, yeah, right away I got two off the bat, which is nice. But yep, yeah, flying. It's like, oh, okay. And I'm like wondering, sometimes they really look like they're flying, but your melee can still hit them, so I put that to the test then. I'm like, oh, I realized, nope, they only hit them. And I'm working on getting my auto battle up. I think overall it took me it take me four tickets. Cause I got two right away. I used both of them. And then I got another one. Yep, now I'm realizing. Yep, flying. They don't attack them. So yeah, I think you get more than for being logged in. And you can also buy them with the drops that they give you. Which is... It's called a pumpkin bomb. And it's actually a charm. Increases attack power. So yeah, I got a ring from... Oh, you'll see later. And I also got a bracelet. And you'll also see where I get that later. So I do actually... Yep, now I'm switching my party around. Just so I can be more effective with my attacking. Um, I actually do get some things and use them. Just checking to see what all I got. Someone else that got it before me. So now I have four range, well, three range and a mage in, and of course it's the one party that I get for Malie guys. So that was interesting. But yeah, these are the mask servants that were killing little guys with the pumpkins on their heads. That's the one mob. Oh. And then, um, trying a new way of editing is by pausing the video. Realized I could do that. Guy in the middle there is the Lord. 
September Mon. So you need 40 of them and 50... No, you need 25 of these and 40 of the other guys for the first quest. And then after I complete this quest, I go to number six. So again, I did four, then I did one, then I go to six. That's just what I did. And my kid came to say hi again. Sorry about my video one. Let me see. Oh, it won't work because it's dark in here. Yeah. His name is Buddy, and I think he is four years old. He was found outside. I'm going to lay on my desk. Uh, so I got the 25 of them. also watch like checking experience I think I got up to 30 mil with the heart buffs and stuff and I didn't have any other buffs on one yep. yeah it was five times six so yeah so it was a little over so decent experience checking my time which sometimes that can be wrong so if it ever kicks you out to town go back and try to go back in because more than likely you can so now i got the servants and i complete the quest for you I've been really tired lately. I've been working a lot. So that one's done. Okay, now I do six. I'm pretty sure I'll do six. And these are the bats. 40 of each and there I see, oh, you get tickets for these and then I realize with one quest is five tickets, so. Yep, there's the one bat, it's the gray ghost bat, and then you have the red ghost bat. And that was, those were the ones in the front there, but i show you them in the next battle I do. Yeah, what I was going to say before is this event has many aspects to it. You got like the quest you got to complete. And then to get some of the quests complete, you got to get other things. Which only certain the quests give you. And then you got the charms, which you could keep to store up. Because they're decent. Then you got like the atlas ore that you could buy and use to get some of the better um, earrings, bracelets, and rings and such. Checking my time. Alright, so now I'm working on, you can see that I paused my video and I'm working on getting um, the rest the quest done. Oh, and it just kicked me out of the blue. Boom, I was crashed. So, go back in. That battle would have given me one of them. I was a little frustrated there. It's the first time it happened. So I don't know if there's just too many people on. Oh, that's Minecraft. Oh, or Mind Out. I'm 
I was just letting them know that I disconnected too because they were asking about it. It was blinking so I had to click it to get it to stop blinking. So yeah, I got the one done. I'm really close to going getting the other ones. Um, they messaged me back that many people were on. Quest is done. Should give me my other quest. I think I get engaged here. Oh, maybe not. Yep, subquest repeat. Yep, there it was done. Yeah, I started, I now get up at 5 and I'm out the door by 6 to be at my job. And I'm usually, sometimes I'm between like 3.30, 4.30. And then we're looking at buying some land, so you might see that pop up in real life. Um, playlist, some videos of that. go down here then I don't get engaged. Alright, so now what do I do next? Complete that one. We interchange these next two pretty much. Can't do that one yet. We gotta do that one. That gives you that quest. So now it's the last one, which is the key. And you need... Oh yes, you need a thousand charms out here to buy it. I'm already downfall of having too many people. So yeah, this is like, oh, I can't get it. So, I have... 500. It was... But sorry, that's my feet on my chair. Um, it's pretty easy to get to a thousand. Oh. They don't drop all the time, I found out. But when they do drop, you get anywhere from like 10 to 30, if not more. So, to spare you guys all the time of tacking, I do pause the video and then I, um, attack till I get them. 
then I got some event. That's where I got more um, invitations going. I'm watching the inventory. I think I'm at 900. I can't read it. Now I'm over a thousand, so I can go back out. I'm like, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, well, actually, now I'm realizing. Yeah, now I'm realizing I'm going the wrong way. Uh, that was actually to a second floor. I didn't see any quests for that one. So maybe the second floor is a place you can just grind. Once you have the quest done. So I'll have to check that out next. I also want to check out the indie for Merlin. Oh, I can get it. And that completes the quest. Which gives me another key. And I'm done. Woohoo! And I have 31 charms to spare. I realize we can't click it here, so. This is where I use another. Invitation to go back in. I actually thought I was going to the graveyard now, and then I realized, oh wait, no, there's a second floor. Surprise! You can't use it. Like, All right. Um, but maybe when I go into the portal it uses it. I don't see an NPC in here for these guys. At least not on the map. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm like, let me see. And I was like, yep, I used it. I'm like, alright, it's a boss. Check formation. Like, you know what? Let's take out her and put Warlord in. I was thinking she might be hard because the mother mobs didn't just die so quick. And I was like, oh, never mind. And I got another invitation. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, I know I have a second key. So I go out here and then I come back in. So I wanted to see if she dropped something different. So and this time I actually try to kill the entire party before she dies. Oh. And here I zoom in to try to get a good picture of her. Punched over. So I finish her off. And she gives me the pumpkin ring. Yep. 
So she does drop different things. That's interesting. And here is the puzzle board piece. And that gives me a, a bracelet. So yeah. I was just checking, I'm like, what do I all have? Checking the boxes and stuff. Thank you for watching.